we get in? Hello guys, welcome back to Cassette Confessions. This is the penultimate video for the series, as the next video will be the last one I'm going to ever do on Cassette Confessions. Yes, so... Yeah, it's going to be shocking. It's gone quick though, this has. This series is flying by. You know, it's taken about maybe four or five months, really, in total. So, pretty interesting. Yes. <laughs> so, we're talking about Tom and Vicky, the treehouse and other stories from 2002. Now, I'm technically cheating with this. I am sort of cheating with this one. Uh, because I knew where this came from, actually. I'm sort I am, you yeah, know, because I'm, I think this is the only time I'm going to be cheating, like, actually, I actually do know where this came from, because I remember getting it, and, yeah, I thought it was a good idea to just talk about Tom and Vicky again on the channel. I've only talked about it once on Path of the Snowshare, I might talk about it again, actually, so... Seeing it's fitting, it's a bit of an unknown show, so far, my including on here. You know, just give it a bit more light. So, yes, so... Tom and Vicky, the, obviously the um, anime, stop motion anime, t uh, anime TV show, which was released in the late 90s, but 1999. This game now features the voice talents, of course, of the late Sir Richard Attenborough, and, of course, like this, the late Rick Mail as well, so, fair enough. Um, really interesting... A good animation. It's very sort of, again, in for the preschool uh, crowd very much, like very out there, very colourful wise, very very different style as well, animation wise, everything else, so it's pretty interesting. Um, this version I've got here is actually a reissue from 1999. The original version was released by VCI and Granada Media back in 1999, of course. Uh, this one was released by Cinema Club. Um, Cinema Club actually were a film division that, was, that VCI or Video Collection International had done. Uh, back in the late 80s, I would say, just releasing films underneath that banner, of course. They would, they would include the items here and there, but also they would just, you know, do a promo at the beginning then, and, you know, just go with the movie, of course, as back in back in the, back in those days. Uh, for this one, we have this, we have the ident, of course, just the cynical ident, very silent ident. There's nothing, that, there's nothing to it. Very much, it's just like a film roll and it slides down. I would say the DVD version, the DVD one that actually came out in the 2000s actually is more better because that's just it's got like a synthesizer and like a, and some weird film rolls and stuff like that. And it's 3D and zooms right in front of you, it does. So I would say that's better than the natural overall VHS version. So, five stories to go on from from this one. Um, not much to really say about the episodes, really. There are some. There's only two, like two decent highlights on this one, really. Like the, the first one, of course, the treehouse. That's a good one, that is. Um, granddad, granddad builds a treehouse with Tom and Vicky, of course, um, just to play, you know have the misadventures in, of course, but also used in for most of the story. So that's basically the first episode, really. And that's yeah, all right. It's decent, it is. Next up, we've got is hide and seek. Just a fun game of hide and seek, of course. You kind of think like, you know, you've seen stuff like this beforehand. It's like, well, they yeah, actually just do a new spin on it. It's just two kids playing around, and a dog called Kevin as well, just doing hide and seek and just messing around. You've also got the side things as well with the two frogs that Rick Mill actually voices in in this one. There's like two like two side plots. They don't really do much with the actual story of the actual narrative of the of the official episode. It's just. On there, really, just they're, they're on that having the little own tiny adventures in a pond, really. There's so nothing really else to it, really, in that place. Hide and seek, nothing really to it, of course. Uh, Treasure Garden is another one, not really just um, just there, really, unfortunately. Um, you know, not really interested. I've only played, I might have only seen it once, really, with this VHS because I because I'll get to explain to it eventually. Um, Nothing else to it, unfortunately. Worms Eye View, another one, really. But the last one, Animal Hostel, is actually pretty good because I remember vaguely that they basically, they basically wrap the toys up in, you know, in toilet paper and bandages and stuff just to have the fun of it. Uh, but overall, it's decent. It's decent. It is. You know, it's got music by Brian da uh, Brian Daly, who did Pulse and Pat as well, and bits and pieces of Ivor Woods TV shows as well, really, in some places. Um, and yeah. It's all right, really. So I got this from Pound Stretches years ago, back in the day. Um, I don't know. I just spoiled the show, so I thought that'd be ideal, really. You know, or if my parents just gave it to me or something like that. You know, or I think it, it might be me actually. Just got it, got it from Pound Stretches all these years ago, and yeah, 
I'm still somewhere it is really. I've only seen it once really, but that's very really about it really. It's like when you buy you buy a VHS and like if you buy from a car or something like that, you only see it once, but you never see it again afterwards. You know, it's pretty strange. That's how it worked for my when for my VHS experience viewing experience really. Um well yeah. Nothing else to do it unfortunately, but it's just a little it's a little a bit of a more vivid inside of the show, really, you know, because I mentioned before, I think I mentioned the vicious beforehand, beforehand on Path of Nostalgia, but I'll bring it in a little bit more light here and, here and there. But overall, it's a decent little animated show. People probably remember back in the CITV days, but I think if you see it on VHS and only once, you know, it's quite hard to, you know, get a grip, get a grip, uh, you know, grip on it sometimes, really. But it's interesting. It's a reissue as well from 2002, too, so... Yeah, I've always bring a little light on that one. I mean, I couldn't really think of anything else to put on, really. So, this is just the idea, really. And that's it, really. That's uh, Tom and Vicky, a trio of other stories from 2002, reissue from last night nine. That's the penultimate video for Cassette Confessions. We are getting onto the finale as well, which will come along shortly, hopefully. It definitely will be. Yes, yeah, so the finale. Um, you have to wait and see where it is, you know. It's probably nothing spectacular, but... It's not a grandiose thing or something like that, but it's something else, really. It's not. It's not just focused on one show. It's be something else, really. It could be just be like more more stuff. It could be anything, you know. You just never know what what, what to expect from my VHS collection. But who knows? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. As always, see you for the next video, which will probably be the finale of Cassette Confessions. Anyway, guys, see ya.